February is American Heart Month, and this morning we are taking some time to raise awareness about heart disease. More studies showing differences in heart function between men and women, and that means the signs of trouble can show very differently between men and women. So Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us in studio this morning to debunk some of the myths about the threats of heart disease. And we really do need to focus on this, particularly with women. Absolutely. So the first one is that heart disease is a woman's disease. Okay. Heart disease is the number one killer of all Americans, wow. including women. Okay. I think one of the things that uh, is tricky for women is that heart disease shows up in women at an older age. Mm -hmm. So women tend to start showing signs of heart disease about 10 years later than men do. Okay. Because in younger ages, estrogen is protective. And so we don't tend to have it top of our mind in terms of prevention, in terms of knowing the signs. Okay. So what are those signs? So it's so important for women to know that heart, heart attacks look very different, can look very different in women yeah. than in men. Mm -hmm. So women can have extreme fatigue, nausea, they can have wrist pain. Hmm. Um, if you're experiencing any of those symptoms, especially after exercise, okay. you may be able to tolerate them for quite a while, but if you're worn out after exercise more than you would expect, it's not new for you, mm -hmm. you've been doing it for a long time, but you're very tired after, or your joints hurt, your wrists, your shoulders, you want to make sure and talk to your doctor about that. Oh. Sometimes for a minute it feels like indigestion. Oh, okay. So the symptoms can be very different from those classic crushing chest pain mm -hmm. that we're used to. Certainly some women can have those, mm -hmm. and if you have those, take it seriously. But if you have some of these more subtle signs, especially okay. worsened by exercise, get checked out. Okay. Um, obviously, we family history would be a, a big component of this. Is anybody at risk, though, even if there's no family history of Everybody heart disease? Everybody okay. is at risk. Um, one of the things that we're learning is that, you know, things that we do as children and, and teenagers start building those plaques in our vessels for everybody. Okay. And then it shows up in your 40s, 50s, and 60s. And so for all of us, exercising is great mm -hmm. at all ages, eating well, mm -hmm. not smoking. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Smoking is a huge risk factor for heart disease. And managing diseases like diabetes and hypertension can help decrease your risk of heart disease. But everyone's at risk for those. So if you are diagnosed with heart disease, does that mean you are inevitably going to have a heart attack? Or, or how does... That's an excellent question. So I always explain to folks that being high risk doesn't mean complicated. Okay. So you can have risk factors and never experience the disease, but you want to get the right care mm -hmm. and you want to make the right lifestyle changes that can decrease that risk for you. And you really can make a big difference with those and changes. And you really can make a big difference, yes. So we got to keep it in mind, and it's really interesting what you mentioned about the signs for women. I mean, we don't talk about that enough. We don't talk about that enough. In fact, women's hearts and men's hearts function very differently, and so those signs show up very differently for women. You got to have it on your radar okay. and, and talk to your doctor if you're having any unusual symptoms. Don't take it for granted. Women mm -hmm. always are stoic. Mm -hmm. We suffer in silence. Don't suffer in silence. I say suffer like a man. Be noisy and whiny and about complain, it. Complain, <laughs> complain, complain. <laughs> Dr. Tara Thompson, thank you so much. Central Phoenix Obstetrics and Gynecology. Appreciate you. Thanks.